Alright, welcome to the 13th tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Scientific Linux and Oracle VirtualBox. In the previous server, we, uh, in the previous video, we set up a LDAP server. So in this video, we're just going to set up the account manager and connect the nodes to the server. So on your head node, install PHP and PHP minus LDAP minus yes. Oops, sorry. Remember to add yum. Okay. Then we need to download the LAM, the LDAP account manager. So just wget the file. I'll add this link in the description for the video. Uh, it's from SourceForge again, so it's going to be a funny little wget. Just let that finish, and I'm just going to pause this uh, recording. Alrighty then. Uh, if we just do an ls, we'll see the LDAP account manager RPM here. So, to install it, RPM minus I LDAP account manager. It's going to complain about a no key, but that's fine. Then we just re need to restart the HTTPD service. What am I doing? Service HTTPD restart. Okay. Now we need to tunnel into the cluster. So just uh, right click on the taskbar up here and then change settings. Then add um, the tunnels. Just Connection SSH tunnels. Source port, I'm just going to use 8081. Destination has to be master.test testcluster.com port 80 and then add this tunnel and apply. Uh, now we need to get our uh, internet browser. Just let me resize this and go to localhost port 8081 slash LAM. Now this should bring us to this page. First we're going to do is update the de general settings password. You can log in now with LAM and OK. And then we're just going to change the password here. OK and do LAM configuration again and then we have to edit server profiles again the default password is LAM so just log in first thing we're going to do is change the password so just set your new password and save then go back to the LAM and now you can log in with your new password and then you can start the actual setup so server address has to change to master.testcluster.com with the port 389 at the end as well. We want to activate DLS. Your domain has to be testcluster and DC has to be .com. Now you can copy this. Uh, here you want to add master and then you can just paste paste what you copied up um, up there okay save the page and then we go back there again so just log in again go to account types now for each of these we have to change this with what we just copied so just paste this in each time well for each box and then save the settings again. Now we can log in with the password that we created a hash of earlier. So just enter that password again and you should be logged in to this uh, page here. Uh, just click create to create the basic setup and now we want to create a few groups quickly. First group is just users and save create another group we want 
LDAP admins and then save and th that's both our groups. If you just go to groups you can see the uh, groups and their group IDs and you'll see there are no members um, you can add a description for the group if you want that's just not necessary right now okay I'm going to add a new user since I've already added me I'm going to add a me too user just enter this into the last name field and then click on Unix and then that is fine that's fine the primary group should be LDAP admins and then at additional groups we add ourselves to the user group and then just click on save over there okay so now we have a new user for the cluster called me2 and that's it for the uh, web part so you can just log out and head back to the terminal or your putty and then we add need to configure the head node as well as the other nodes to connect and actually use the LDAP server we just set up. So we install uh, again yum install nss dash pam dash LDAP D. Uh, since we need to do this on all of the nodes, I'm just going to log into the uh, root nodes, ah, compute nodes, and yum install nss pam ldapd. Oh, it should be pam. Okay. Uh, well, this is complaining about not finding the mirror so IP tables minus capital F and then at node 2 yum install nss minus pam minus ldap d And then just retry the command on node 1 if yours failed as well. Okay, so the head node is done. We need to copy the certificates we generated into a new folder where uh, it can be accessed by the client com uh, program. So just cp slash etc pki tls certs. Oh, actually, before doing that, we need to make a directory make dir slash etc open ldap ca certs and now we can do the copy I'm lazy slap oh that should be an s slap the certs to etc open ldap ca certs and then we need to run a configuration authorization config setup. So auth config dash DUI and enter. You'll get this screen. So just use the arrows to navigate and use space to select. We want to use LDAP. The rest is fine. We want to use shadow passwords. We want to use LDAP authentication, and we want to use we want local authorization is sufficient as well. So just hit next. We want to use TLS. The server is LDAP. Uh, colon slash slash master dot testcluster dot com at port three eight nine. And this base DN should be testcluster.com. So just like that and hit enter. Okay, 
uh, if it does not show that the service has started, something's wrong. Your um, LDAP client cannot connect to your LDAP server. So it needs to show this line. Otherwise, the LDAP service isn't actually running. So we want to enable LDAP to create home directories as well. So we run auth config minus minus enable make home dir minus minus update and that should restart these the service and the last thing we want to do is enable the LDAP admins group we created to be able to use sudo so echo uh, percentage LDAP admins all equals bracket all well, that should be an equals bracket all close bracket equals all and append that to the slash etc slash sudoers file and that should be it if I you try to switch user to me too it's going to say it's creating the directory and then actually switches to the me too user I've never made a me too user on this computer so if I just cd I'll be in my home directory and the home directory will be there just cd uh, by default there's no port there's SSH um, for the users so every time you create a user you will still need to uh, run the SSH keygen script you can write the script to do that for you whenever user is created or logs in the for the first time so you'll sh you should be able to manage that we just want to copy dot ssh idrsa dot pub into dot ssh authorized keys and once the nodes are up and running we can uh, we should be able to log into the nodes with this account if I go back to the root account and SSH into node 01 and sue me too you'll see that it says there is no user account called me too so the nodes are still busy downloading the or installing the yum so I'm just gonna pause recording until they're both done the nodes are done okay we need to copy the certificates over to the nodes as well so uh, no SCP master colon slash etc pki tls certs yeah, certs slash slap d cert dot bim I've got a really bad feeling and I'm gonna have to retype that because we haven't created the directory that we're going to paste it into new SAP master slash etc pki tls search slap the cert dot bim into slash etc open ldap ca search yes okay now we need to run the auth config thingy again so we want to use ldap yes 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 at testcluster.com oh, oh wait master.testcluster.com this should be testcluster.com okay 
the service has started, which is good. And then auth config minus minus enable make home tour minus minus update and just log out. So if I switch to Mewtwo now on node 1, we have a Mewtwo user uh, with a home directory as well. So I'm just going to do the setup on node 2 quickly. So make the directory, copy, do this little thingy. and it runs. Oh, what I forgot to do on node 1 is to echo the sudo group. So echo percentage ldap admins all equals all all and append that to the uh, slash etc sudoers file exit and ssh node 1 do that as well so if I switch to me too I should be able to oops sudo Um, I haven't set a password for sudo um, using the web admin so I'm just going to set password here using uh, the root account so password for me to oh wait that should be correct whatever Oh, um, I can't change the password for me too here because um, it needs me too's current password. Even for for root, that's a bit odd. So you'll have to set a password in the web admin before you will be able to change it in the terminal. But that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.